today I'm going to be making honey oatmeal bread. Um, it's going to start off in the bread machine on the dough cycle and then I'm going to bake it in the oven. Um, I just prefer it that way. You can totally do this in the bread maker the entire way if you want. Just, you know, set it to whatever the regular setting is for bread and you can do it like that. Anyway, so we're going to start off with one cup of warm, you know, lukewarm water, not hot. And then we're going to add in an egg. Let me beat it up just a little before I add it in. I'm going to add in an egg. Two tablespoons of butter. Oh, make sure that egg is room temperature, by the way. Two tablespoons of butter, or you can use the oil of your choice. Um, so we'll stick that in there. Then we need two tablespoons of dried milk powder. You can find this on your baking aisle at the grocery store. Oof! That there was a poof of flour. I mean, you know what I mean. Anyway, then we're going to need a quarter of a cup of honey. And um, a little tip when you're working with honey is to spray the inside of your cup before you put the honey in with, you know, some nonstick spray or just swirl a little um, oil in there real quick and you should get most of that out and of course it's basically making me a liar because it's not coming out <laughs> I'm gonna make it come out usually it works but not on camera right okay so then we're going to add a teaspoon of salt right here a half a cup of oats. That calls for quick cooking, but these are uh, just old fashioned and it works out just fine. Maybe the texture is a little different, but it's okay. Then I'm going to add three, add three cups of bread flour. Let me measure that out. One. It's poofing up everywhere. Three. And then we need one and a half teaspoons of yeast on top. And then throw it in the bread machine on the dough setting. Or, like I said, you can go ahead and bake it on the regular setting. Um, you know, and it'll mix it and bake it for you. The dough cycle is done and it looks great. I'm just going to punch it down a little and by punch you know you don't really have to punch it punch it <laughs> okay. I'm gonna put a little flour I have a parchment paper here I'm gonna put a little flour on this and shape it okay, so. all right so I got it out of the machine and I'm just gonna shape it I'm just gonna keep rolling it over on itself I kind of want a round loaf I think So just keep working with it until you're happy. Okay. Okay, so I have it pretty much how I want it. I'm going to flatten it a little bit. And then I'm going to place it on a parchment lined baking sheet um, to let it rise again. The old switcheroo. Okay. okay, so I'm gonna let's, I'm gonna actually flatten it out a little bit. And I'm gonna let this rise for about 30 minutes or so. And then I'm gonna score the top, brush it with a little egg wash, and um, throw it in the oven. So I have my oven preheating to 350 degrees and I'll be back in half an hour. It's been a half an hour and it looks pretty awesome. So now I'm going to give it a, an egg wash. I just uh, kind of scrambled up an egg with a little bit of water. I'm just going to brush all over it. This will make it nice and shiny and pretty. 
trying to do this without deflating it. This isn't the best brush. I got it at the Dollar Tree. Um, I mean, it works for some things, but it needs more bristles. <laughs> but I'm just going to have to make it work. Then I'm going to take a knife and put a couple of slits in it, trying not to mess it up. There. I'm going to go across. There we go. So I'm going to pop this in the oven for I'm not really sure how long. I'll um, I'll check it in. It probably is going to take 35 to 45 minutes, but I will um, to let you know at the end exactly how long it took. But I think I want to put some more scores in it. There. There, I like that better. Okay, so I'm going to pop this in the oven, and I will be back when it's done. And here is the finished product. It baked, it's still hot, for about 25 minutes, and it turned out great. It's beautiful. It sounds hollow inside, so it's done. I won't be cutting into this um, for the video because I'm taking it to Easter brunch so um, if you like this recipe give it a thumbs up you can also find me on Twitter Facebook and Instagram at Lee's home 05 thanks for watching bye